I'm Chris. And I'm Paul. And we're BNM Performance. We had an Evo years ago, and, and we had sold it, and it ended up getting wrecked by the, the owners who had it next. We were able to buy it back from this company's insurance, and we had no wherewithal to, to work on a car. I mean, it was, it was at my grandfather's shop where they, where they have excavation, so the, the shop was big enough to handle it, and, and me and Paul started tearing this thing apart. Like I said, there was nothing salvageable body-wise, so we just started tearing it apart, and, and uh, we got right into it, saved saved every part and, and we started saving all these parts and selling them, shipping them over to the US. And then that kind of spiraled into the next one. And we started buying these cars uh, as wrecked ones and then the next one and the next one. And I believe we've done over 80 some over the years. And as, and as time has gone on, we, we grew and grew and we had more resources. Paul made the jump from his last career and then we've transitioned out of the parts business, more or less to, to the service and building these cars. And it's kind of where we sit today. We love these Evos. There's just something about them. I think the rarity of them, the history behind the car. It's just not another car that quite matches it. The way they accept modification is very different than most cars. Uh, you can make 400 horsepower pretty quick on E85 and a stock turbo. And, and to me, that's really unique. You know, drag, autocross, road course. You can set that car for whatever you really want. It's even good groceries too. I feel the Evo is, is the ultimate street track car because it, it does have all the traits for all three of those mm -hmm. race race tracks, uh, drag, autocross, and road course. Um, it can be set up for any one of them, or you can set it up mildly for all of them and do all three of them. Favorite car for me would be my white 9 RS. This has been uh, a project that I bought as a shell years ago too and built it into uh, what, it, what you see today. Um, I'm more of the, I like the OEM look. We like to keep things kind of simple, at least I do. Paul likes to get into a little more modified world of things and push and push stuff. My favorite car is the Optima Evo. The Optima Evo, we, we bought in spring of 2020. It, it was yeah. on TV for that. Yeah, it, um, doesn't, it doesn't need an introduction. It's a special car, it's a billet, billet block. That's uh, the thing makes about 670 to the wheel, fully cranked up, uh, it's a monster on the road course. It's a Drenth dog box, sequential. It, uh, this thing's a wild car for sure. We went down to Tennessee and bought this car from Ken Thwaites. He had built the car to what it is today and won the Optima series with it. It used to actually be owned by us years before that. We had owned it as a 20,000 mile Evo that needed to be put back together. And we, we had put it back together over, over the course of a year, I think we spent on it. And, and then we sold it to Ron at RS Motors. And Ronnie at RS Motors built it for, for Ken Thwaites for a while. And then Ken built it into that. He put it up for sale and we thought it was a, it'd be a, a good business move to buy it back. And here, here, here it is still. So. Needed to come back home. Yeah. Driving this car feels like you're in a rocket ship. Once that, once it spools up a little bit, it, it's a, it's a whole another type of feeling. They're both really aggressive, hit you in the face kind of cars. Um, obviously, the Optima Evo has, it's in another, another world. Evos want your love and they want your money. Um, they, they want you to treat them good, and when you do, they treat you good back. Normally, they need the maintenance and they take they take a lot of take a lot of it to keep them going. We highly recommend the Evo to people. We have a good friend that that uh, he's pretty hardcore, a different brand car, and if he just simply got into an Evo, <laughs> he'd reach his goals really quick. Yeah, this particular friend's been trying to run 12s for a while now, and if he would have had an Evo, he would have done this a few years ago. But we still love them. We love diversity too. Yes. So. 
do your research, talk to the experts, definitely do it right the first time. Yeah, be, don't be afraid to spend a few extra bucks the first time rather than redo it the second time. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet no. and find some real, uh, real information online. On this white Evo 9 RS, we have a built cylinder head uh, from MAP, it was a stage one. Ferra valves, GSC cams, and valve springs. I believe there's a MAP lower pipe on it. I know we have uh, FP down pipe for that one. It's one of their, their V-band down pipes, which is an awesome piece. I have a fully built Evo 9 short block over in the corner that's gonna be going in my car, uh, along with a MAP built cylinder head. So fully built from MAP along with all the goodies, the, the O2 downpipe. I have the MAP tubular exhaust manifold on there. Uh, MAP downpipe or MAP lower intercooler pipe. Better step my game up. I'm yeah. all MAP. Our relationship with MA Performance is wholesale account dealer, and old engine builds, cylinder head builds for us, uh, parts off the shelf like your Exeti Twins, ACT, you name it, MAP has been the, the place to go to for us for, for parts for years. It was places like MA Performance that made us want to start something. It was kind of our driving force was, we really wanted to work on modified cars, and so that was they were a big, big influence in what we wanted to do. To past, future, and present customers, I'd like to, to say, you know, we care about your car as much as you do. We're gonna do an awesome job. Paul's one of the best mechanics you're gonna, you're gonna get. He knows these cars like the back of his hand. We utilize the best resources, MA Performance, awesome engine department, awesome fab team. They're always bailing us out when we need parts. They got something in stock for us. You can't beat it. So Minnesota's unbelievably lucky to have all these awesome shops around. Yeah.